Hello. I will now show you how to use this mod. Um, you have to excuse my English. <laughs> is 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 not my first language. I and I never learned it. But anyway, this is the Reconquest, and it's a very weird mod. I tried to recreate some strat strategy elements from Heroes of Might and Magic and civiliza Civilization a little bit maybe and it is not uh, easy to do in Doom it's almost impossible I would I, I try to do something and it's not it's not that bad <laughs> so I will show you campaign um, here you can choose your difficulty generally uh, I will say later I just pick some stuff here so let's say I want to have hex and monsters and fight against doom monsters and yes here you can choose your class I will explain later <laughs> some things I think are good and here um, it's this is kind of a menu so if you go to this um, alchemy things press use and the alchemy menu shows up the same with spells uh, this many I, I don't like I think it's not not great but for the time it will have to do map is main um, um, interface when you do almost everything and yeah the, the map is randomly generated every time uh, sometimes it will be very um, unforgiving but it's just how random um, generated maps work sometimes this is the help uh, screen when you just um, when you do, don't know how things work you can al always read and uh, the most important part is the units when you uh, can look what uh, what monster what the type of r terrain he likes so ah, look for, there's army management screen you start with some units um, that you are uh, able to uh, recruit oh, sorry not this the level 1 units for Hexen it is 18 and Afrit so you start with some 18s and Afrits if uh, you would choose Doom there would be imps, shotgun guys, the zombies and the stats screen so what do you do in this mod? Uh, well generally you try to fight as many battles as you can and then when you are ready there is somewhere in this map a black castle, something like this. And there is a big army, way bigger than any any of these armies here. And you try to just conquer it, uh, attack it and w win the battle. Won win, win, win the battle. Okay, so what can you do? Firstly, you have some resources in the lower um, left corner and you try to gain as much as possible of course so each day you gain gold but uh, you gain nothing more so you have to build sawmills quarries or some mines to gain more resources and these resources uh, will um, be used to build more buildings and these buildings will give you access to more units or spells so, so it's just kind of standard strategy thing so the first thing I would advise to do is build a dwelling so dwellings are the buildings that give you access to units right now you don't have any uh, you don't have access to any unit you have to build the first dwelling that will give you one of these two and if you want to choose what kind of unit you want to have you have to look what uh, 
the unit likes. Yeah, it is pretty random, so I I chose it. Uh, I just kind of chose it, chose it randomly. So these add things like dirt terrain and hills terrain, and if you want afrits, you have to build this uh, the dwelling on the desert or or mountains. And all the units have some like terrain, so you have some um, some power to choose what unit you want to have in your army. And yes, Korax like mountains because why not? So I think I want at the at things. Actually, I think they are a little bit better than Afrits. I did some tests, and generally, they are, I think Ettins are the strongest unit in the first level, first tier of units. Better than any of the mm, Doom units and Heretic units, probably. So that said, that they like dirt, yes. So we can build. Uh, to build a building, to build a building, yes, uh, you must first make a road, and then on the road you you have to place buildings. So it's say uh, on the low on the lower left corner, eighteen. So there's an info, of course. By the way. Um, a fruit like desert. Do we have a desert here? Yes. Yep. Works. So I build. Uh, yes. Um, by the way, the controls. I try to make the controls as simple as possible, but in this um, kind of menus, you 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 can't use mouse, unfortunately. So you have to use only keyboard. And you use just movement arrows and use, so it's space for me. I think it's not not as complicated. I hope uh, you can play it anyway. So build a, a dwelling. It will give you things Now you can recruit things and you do it here in the army management or just army interface. Uh, some Ettins now have 12 Ettins and 2 Afrits. This Afrit will die out s at some point, so whatever. But the most important part of this model are battles, of course, and you have to pick your battles, battles even carefully, so uh, you don't want to attack some strong armies straight away. Unfortunately, uh, I think. These armies are pretty weak around. Maybe I will have to buff them a little bit, but this thing is straight from heroes. So this uh, the number of or the the estimated count of the troops is uh, just um, under the map. It will tell you the re or the rough amount of uh, t the troops or the army of the enemy army. So pack of troopers, several limbs, and few. Few is the I think is one to four. I'm not sure. Several is five to nine. Pack yes, pack is ten to twelve. I think, and of course there are more like lots of horde. All these things are just straight from heroes. I like this system. Just I don't know. I, I always f uh, find it very cool for some reason. So what I want to attack now? I think I will attack. We have to gain access to rocks to be able to build a quarry. I will be able to build a sawmill here, so wood is not a problem. But uh, we don't have an access to mm, rocks. So, the best idea is to attack these shotgunners or these troopers. These are just zombie, n zombie men, I renamed them because I didn't like the, 
um, concept of zombies in the army, not not with no, I I don't, never mind. Uh, th these are the worst guys in the game, so absolutely n not not something scary. Just can attack one uh, once in a turn, attack, and yes. And this is the main part of the mod when you fight battles, but not with your pistols and shotguns and plasma guns, but with the monsters. So these are... how many of them? It's 15, I think? Um, and first you have to deploy your troops, your monsters. You don't have to deploy everyone. Uh, you have, you, you can um, leave some back, but uh, and uh, they will automatically survive the battle if you don't want to use some monsters. But there, uh, there's almost no point uh, unless there are some units that are weak to some attacks. So what can you do here? Um, there's a kind of a highlight of uh, how the units will spawn and I think it's the best just to use the straight line there's no point to hide or something so you can choose how um, close the units are to each other so the monsters I, I got used to <laughs> call them units So it's tight or loose. The loose will be the double the um, space between the monsters, and you can modify the formation to some degree. The left and right will um, change from what side the units will spawn, but it's okay. The standard line is twelve eighteens in a straight line, that's fine. And the uh, rest too, you can uh, use single unit to place single unit if you wish, of course. When you finish, just... Ah, about the controls, I forgot. The con the, this is the only menu and the battle menu is the only menu when you have to use unfortunately some additional controls. I use just arrows for this and so you know these arrows in the keyboard and the movement arrows WASD to move around I didn't um, thought of any other idea to do this but this I got used to it I think it's not that crappy it's okay so um, finish and now if, if I press the battle start for me is B they will start attacking but you can always, um, there's a pause button, if uh, I start the battle and straight away I hit the pause button just to, you know, uh, now can, uh, no, sorry, uh, now I can bring this menu, this is the battle interface and I can make some units, uh, some units, yeah why not, so, some monsters or some units just uh, go into a particular place, so I use uh, for this um, Q and E WASD and Q and E, I've, it, it works pretty well with uh, this menu so let's say I want to, uh, I want the Ettings to go here and there is no little point to be honest, they will just go straight to these guys and kill them because Ettings are strong and yes uh, I am using um, my right mouse button to select my own units or you can use the same button and the same button to um, give the m movement order or I don't know how to call it uh, to tell them to move there or to attack a particular dude and you can um, erase the 
the yellow arrow so the 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 place where the things will go with a command I, I using the middle mouse button for that so uh, it works pretty well it's um, I got used to it pretty quickly so it's not controls are not that hard I think I hope for me so at least one person on earth can handle these things anyway uh, so okay let's see what will happen unpause so the twins will try to go there actually the these zombie men are on the way I, so they will <laughs> want to go through the zombie to, to here probably killing uh, them in the process ah, something actually went through okay let's erase this and let's finish the battle you don't have to you, you, you can of course um, given orders in the middle of the battle so if this is the only alive and only do the life so there's no point but if there will be like few guys you can order uh, them to attack this one because you know it's already surrounded so it's very easy to kill kill him and that's the end you just press again the battle oh actually I lost one acting it's pretty bad you gain experience but uh, if you want to check how much experience you gain uh, you need the next level uh, this here next level and I didn't explain anything actually <laughs> I just explained the battle a little bit and some building things but there are attributes here and skills so these attributes will just increase this the monster statistics attack will increase this is uh, straight um, this is this is um, oh come uh, I got stuck. Never mind. The attack will increase the damage by one and a half percent. The damage will decrease it. Accuracy speeds up missiles. Fortitude. Uh, there is something like pain chance in Doom, and it will decrease it. So the monster will not be as often stunned by the attacks. Health increase health. Magic is ah Jesus! This is pretty big system here actually, so I'll skip it for now. And the wisdom is connected to magic; it, it increases the mana pool and the regeneration of mana. And speed increases the speed of movement of more. I might, of course, change it at some point, but for now it will do. What about the magic? Uh, actually, this guy I choose at start, so my class is not magical at all so but I will try to show you at least one spell in this game play so I list I list I lost one 18 not good but ah will manage is on medium uh, medium actually is not that hard I think so right now you can't attack two times in one turn so you have to end day and you see I gained gold at the start you gain fifth uh, 500 uh, 500 yes 500 gold but you can upgrade the uh, HQ to gain more gold but right now I don't know what to do this I think I want to build a sawmill and a quarry so let's build a sawmill road first Oh, not enough resources. Sorry, I forgot. I need 2,000 gold. Build a sawmill. And I actually wasted, wasted a turn. I should have attacked something. But, never mind. We should be able to um, kill these shotgunners without much casualties, I think. How much? This is pack, so these are actually pretty dangerous pack of imps ah and uh, I can start to think about the next dwelling so let's see what Hexen has to offer 
these guys, Wendigos, Centaurs. These are very powerful actually, these Wendigo. They're uh, not cheap though, but... Okay, I forgot to adjust the prices at this point, but I think I will change some, some of the prices of the units at some point. Still, the Wendigos are pretty um, expensive for a second level unit, but they are very, very powerful. They have don't they don't have much health though. These are just upgraded Ettins. They um, attack faster, but and have this shield. But actually, no, they are not that powerful. So we want to build a dwelling here on the snow. So it will give an uh, access to Wendigos. But not now, because we don't have monies. We don't have monies. And okay, so let's attack something. Let's attack these shotgunners. Okay, this the same type of terrain actually. How much? Nine? No, seven. Oh, it's only seven. Not too many. Let's not lose any trips. Hopefully. Okay, maybe loose formation. That's fine. These guys. They, the, these Afris actually don't do almost anything right now because there are just only two and they miss very often. Okay, let's don't do anything. Actually, no. I should have probably, because it is possible. Split the things into two separate groups, then you can give different orders to each group, so you can kind of surround enemy monsters. But okay, I lost one at team. Where is alive, dude? Here. Okay, we lost one Afrit and one Ettin. That's okay, I think. Level up? Nope. We need 60 more only. Okie dokie, so what now? We fought a battle, we don't have any money, we just have to wait. And I gain uh, wood now, of course, but I still need to build a quarry, at least one quarry. And uh, if you lost all your resources building weird stuff, you can always, always, sorry, um, use this alchemy interface to change some resources into other resources. For, for example, this is also straight from Heroes of Might and Magic, but uh, it was, I think it was, um, in the marketplace, yes, when you did this, so it was not alchemy, it was just a trade. And here is alchemy. So, and the mm, ratio is pretty cr crappy at start, but you can upgrade it by skills. Yes, there are skills in here. There is alchemy skill, which will just decrease the penalty during the transmutation. Right now it is pretty expensive, so you have to use... Oh, oops, not this. So to gain one wood you have to... Ah, oh, it's not that expensive. It's cost 400 gold to make one wood. But it is possible, of course. Okay, what next? Um, probably attacking something, or maybe not. I don't know if there's any. Oh, this will be very easy, and it will potentially give me sulfur. These are this is sulfur. Oh, actually, I didn't see it earlier, but there are many sulfur in this map. What's, this is sulfur world, kind of. Oops, not this. Let's attack them. Jungle is actually pretty annoying sometimes because there are many trees and the trees will get in the 
missiles way so you have imps and I don't know revenants or anything that that shoot projectiles they will just hit trees but I, I guess it ki is kind of fair so when you use the straight up melee troops they will gain um, not gain but they will have some protection from the project projectiles so that's cool kind of I don't know they just don't do anything they will wreck these zombie men sorry if, uh, for not showing any magic but actually this this class I chose is as I said not magical at all you don't have to use magic if you don't like you just see if you want to have straight up battles come on dudes attack this one sometimes they you know it is Every unique, every unit, sorry, has one target at a time. So sometimes they will randomly um, target the guy who is the, the furthest away. Some you have to correct them. They will try to go straight past every other monster and to try to attack the the one which is the f farthest away. Not great. So you have to pay attention a little bit. the level up screen and here you have to uh, choose I should say you may choose one of two skills and additional attributes the main attributes and a spell oh come on this actually doesn't fit never mind and the skills are well very um, they are just v v very... Uh, okay, I don't know how to say it. Oh, Alchemy. It's not bad. Every skill is s useful to some point, and there are some skills that you use with magic, so if you don't want to cast spells at all, you probably don't want to use these skills, these magical skills. I don't... Uh, I won't explain every skill, but... Um, just like in Heroes, every skill has three levels, and so if you um, and sorry, and you can have three skills. I th yes, three skills. So you can maximum uh, have three skills, and at level three, so you can. Um, how do you say it? How can you say it? Level up nine times to just get every s get free skills and um, upgrade it to level 3 and then you will uh, then you can choose the other things but you can choose these uh, things straight away so if you actually uh, have some interesting spell to choose here you probably want to do this and uh, if you want to for instance um, concentrate on health this will give you two um, points actually in the in the attribute which which is generated here which is randomly generated here so this uh, if I choose this it will give me two points on fortitude it's not that good actually I want to choose probably uh, I don't remember how many grasslands I got around <laughs> my HQ, so I don't know uh, if it's that useful. I just choose alchemy. I don't know. Probably the best choice. Or not. Yeah, I didn't have any grasslands actually, so. Ah, here it is. You can build farms. Farms um, increase the growth, the weekly growth. Just like in Heroes, the, the um, units. You can only buy units when they are available and they are new units available every week so if you build more farms there will be more units available next uh, every next week um, sorry I have to drink something I'm very thirsty actually mm. so every anyway 
I gained an access to these things, this sulfur, and I will be able to build a mine here. Actually, uh, this uh, alchemy will be pretty useful here. You can build three mines of sulfur, and then you can use this alchemy to to change sulfur into something else. You don't have to f um, search for other resources, probably. These three sulfur mines uh, probably will be enough to sustain. I don't know. So, we fought a battle, let's wait a day. And every time you win a battle, you gain access to more um, of the map, of course, so you can expand. Let's think what to attack next. Maybe these several imps. There are only several. So they should be pretty easy. Yep. Let's not build. Let's attack them. Ah, good old swamp. Nine imps, actually. <laughs> yes, of course. Several is five to nine and it have to be nine. Never mind. We should wreck them. Hopefully. Actually, I have a little bit doubt now. Maybe I will give them some order to um, zigzag around their fireballs. Let's see. Imps, uh, not imps, sorry. Um, Eddins go there. No, they, they will... Okay, they sh are shooting. In the middle. Not good. Ah, never mind, just... Attack the straight one. It's not the straight one, the first one. Yeah, the wheel will win. I, I was too scared, but... Imps are not that powerful. Athens really are the best uh, level 1 units of all available units. I think. They have... 175 health and because I uh, have health attribute they have even more very very nice what are you doing never mind yes it was very easy actually so where was it here next sulfur is mine but I want to wait and I want to build a quarry so I have to build a road here and a quarry so 2500 gold is needed oh my god so many chain gunners chain gunners are actually pretty dangerous I think they are the best level 2 you need or monster ah there's mercury here I didn't notice and gold here there are actually many resources in this map so, I probably want to attack this pack of shotgunners. There is a magic note. How... what are those magic notes? Well... These are pretty weak, actually. Not only the, this is actual weak note, but... Every note is not, uh, not that scary, because this will just cast randomly spells... ...against you in battle. Most of the time, are, they are just buffs on the enemy units or some bad effects on your units like I don't know slowing down and so some of these things and also sometimes they're just straight up shoot projectiles but they are mm, they cast spells I think once in 10 sec one in 10 seconds or something like this I don't remember actually I forgot but Let's pack is actually pretty scary, but we should be able to fight them. And yes, um, after a week, not only I gain units to buy, but of course the enemy armies gain units too. But um, according what um, what <sighs> skill you choose at the start, difficulty. Yes, difficulty. That's the word. What difficulty you chose at the start, um, they will gain... I chose medium, so it was 66% of maximum, so... Potentially, th they will 
um, lose some troops the later the game. I don't know how to say it. Never mind. So, let's not build, of course. Let's. Um, ah, there are some other things. Other, other, other things you can do here. Uh, I, sorry, I'm probably not the greatest um, explainer here, but <sighs> actually, there are very many things to explain. I think of it now. You can use this survey. It will use one turn, um, or rather, if you survey, you do, you can't attack. But there is a little chance to find something. I think it's about 4% to find some resources or some units. And this can be any type of unit except the highest level. So you can find potentially barons of hell or something. But it will be extremely lucky. And you, there is a skill that increases the chance of finding something like here. Ah, so probably without the, the skill, it's even less than three percent. Or I don't remember. Ah, it's not the greatest skill, but if you wish, you can use it. It's not. It's ah, maybe it's not that bad. I I don't know to be honest. So. I don't remember, did I end a day? I think. Let's try to attack these guys. Uh, there are 11, I think. That's a bit scary. A little bit scary. But my teens have 185 health. Come on. Should be able to do this. And this one, one lonely Afrit, he he will be survive. I think actually he's some kind of a badass. Okay, just fight. Ah, this um, these are the notes. So we'll have to wait some time to see what this note actually do. What kind of note it is? Someone cast some spells, dude. Oh yeah, it's cast. Casted, cast, cast. I think these spells. This is actually useless for them because this is the resist energetic attacks or energy based attacks. I don't use energy attacks. So, oops, like this type of arrow. Yeah, yeah, no. Cast some more. Sometimes it's hard to pick this monster because there are many. It's too much of my units just blocked the way. Did we lose anything? No! Actually, not. It's a surprise. Um, yeah, and uh, as you can see, you can. They are run these are randomly picked every time. So let's increase my alchemy skill probably and defense or maybe health just to show you I will choose this so this will give me two um, points in health so I should have four now I think yes I have four so this uh, gives 20 health to any of my monster it's pretty not uh, pre pretty not bad I don't know if you can say that pretty good pretty okay decent so okay let's end the turn and maybe it's very tempting to just end the turn and you know gain the units and buy them ah, come on let's fight these guys strong magic note actually I don't remember what kind of notes can be strong in the forest because the type of terrain affects this but well you just have to try and sh see for yourself. I hope my units will not be just completely and utterly destroyed by this. Come on, zombie men, they should be able to handle this. How many? Oh, these are scattered. This, w this one will just stick to this tree, probably. Not really. 
Never mind. Hopefully the the note will not be some kind of Armageddon note. Just don't do anything stupid note. I'm recording. Oops, not this type of arrow. So what this do? Oh my god, this is actually scary. <laughs> Fortunately, I think this ghost... Uh, attack this guy. Let's finish them off quickly. Oh my god, these ghosts. Don't kill my Eddies, please. Nice. And if you... These ghosts need to stop. That's right. Um, if you kill enemy units, the node will disappear straight away, so it's safe. Fortunately, this ghost didn't kill anyone. They were not that strong. Maybe I should buff these nodes, some, some nodes. Cool. They're more mer Mercury. It's a very rich planet here, actually. And when I played this normally, I, I didn't encounter so many resources. I've Actually, I have problems with resources, so I don't know if I'm happy with the, these results now. Ah, doesn't matter. And now I can build a road and a quarry. Nice. So, I don't have to worry about stone and wood uh, from now on. Next, I probably want to think about building this Wendigo dwelling here. So it costs 2000 and 10 and 10 these resources I already got, so only gold. And probably next thing I want to do is to upgrade my HQ, because it will give me more money per day. Every time you upgrade an HQ, it gives 500 more money per day, so it's pretty, um, pretty good to, pr pretty good idea to do this early. And we have more Etnies, but we don't have gold for them, so we have to actually wait a turn, a day, I rather say, maybe, maybe even two. Yeah, that's that's enough. And you can. Um, you can... How do I say it? Um, I forgot the word. You can just make two groups out of these guys, so... How many of them? Uh, eight, uh, 18, so 9. I, I am using... I probably... <laughs> um, should have added some information on how to use some of the controls, but they, they are in the info here, so... Yes, you can split armies. Split, that was the word I was um, needing. Uh, I needed there. So you can split armies by using run and ma uh, move left and move right. So I did it actually using shift with my WASD to do this. So I split them into two groups. That might be useful or not. Hard to say. And the enemies also gain units, gain uh, numbers. So you should check every time if something actually is saying pack instead of several or lots instead of pack or something. So what do we want next to attack? Oh yeah, lots of shotguns, this is pretty scary. Even several chain gunners is scary. Few cackle demons. Actually, that that is not as scary as these chain gunners. I think lots of things. Pack of shotgunners. I probably want to clear this area here. I might build a farm he, uh, here at some point and gain access to this this area because you can't. 
attack at the, uh, no sorry uh, you can't attack and diagonally that's how you say it you know you, you can't attack uh, here from here or from here you must clear this area first so let's wreck these imps should be pretty easy actually commands are that many nah not that many they're in a line they just did this to scare me there are not that many and we have two formations now so uh, not formations sorry two groups so we can try to use this kind of strategically kind of very kind of but this sorry yes that's one no sorry Okay, will you fit in? No! One did not fit in. Let's not worry. Here you go. That's pretty close. And this immortal Afrit. Just go here. Pause straight away and... Um, so this group was the right group. This will go here. The left group will go here, and Alfred will do all whatever he wants. Oh crap! They're attacking actually the left group. Let's do some dodging. Okay, let's pause for a bit. What's going on? So these are attacking the left part. So we can try to do some dodging. You know what I'm talking about when the actually. This is not a bad idea to do even something like this because the Ettins will go now kind of I don't know how to say it uh, I forgot though I didn't I don't know didn't forget the word I don't know the word for that and the right group of themes will just straight up attack them so let's see what happens oh come on this imp will die not imp this Ettin will die okay, the that was a stupid idea. You just attack them. You straight up melee fight here. Oh no! Don't attack my Afrit. He might... Afrit, get away! I hate them, probably because this is the only... my unit that shoots. Oh, there are some casualties in my... Um, army. Some... Okay, I should probably check more carefully what's going on. The only probably um, not good thing I can see about this mod now that you can't um, see what group of Ettins is what. Either I, or probably what Ettin is in what group. I could add something like this, but... Yeah, probably it might be a good idea to just, you know, show um, what a team is from what stack, what group. It's not as um, useful, but it, it could be useful. And my Afrit died. He was not immortal. Okay, something cool. Two points to defense, meditation, this is straight up for spells. Let's increase this alchemy. Okay, this video actually is very long now, I didn't see, but it's extremely long. I think I have to pause it <laughs> for now. But if you want to know more, I will continue, unless I will make some changes uh, in the mods and then I can't unfortunately continue from the same uh, same safe unless I will back up this back up this uh, version of the mod so thanks for watching and if you want to know anything more about this just ask me see ya